Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work by rote. So I want you to think of something that you don't really think about the words, but you know by heart. Like the Lord's Prayer, Pledge of Allegiance, that kind of thing. So, I don't know, maybe let's just do the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. And let me do it first to show you. So we're going to go, Ha, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Ha, and to the republic for which it stands. You get the idea. Like We're just going to keep it right on that note, but we're going to breathe it and not sing it. That's the important thing. Ha, uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Ha, uh, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Ha, uh, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was excellent. The important thing when you're doing this exercise, because you're breathing out so much more than you're used to, is to really breathe in every time there's a comma, every time there's a period, every time you're thinking about what you want to say. So the next thing that you want to do as an exercise is, after you've practiced some rote memorization, chanting on our note, is we want to add another layer to that, which is not just moving our mouths and making sounds, but starting to say things conversationally. So, you want to find somebody who you can work with, who you can um, ask questions, get answers, back and forth, but staying on our pitch. So, it sort of works like this. I'm going to ask some questions, keeping my pitch in monotone, and I'd like you to answer. So, ha, what is your favorite food? Ha, my favorite food is Thai food. Great. And you want to answer in complete sentences, and you want to get somebody to talk at length if you're, if you're working with someone. So you're, you're trying to keep your pitch right on that note and speaking and thinking about what you're saying. So whatever it is you're thinking about that day, if you're practicing, if you're practicing by yourself, is you can just get out there, you know, talk about what's in the news, anything. What you had to eat that morning, talk about your pets, whatever it is you like to do. Um, so now let's, uh, let's continue that just a little bit longer, and then we're going to add one more layer to all of this. Ha. So what are your goals in transition? Ha. My goals in transition are to pass 100% and feel more like myself. Excellent. That was great. So that's the idea, and you want to just keep going on, and it's just really getting to where you can always find that ha, huh, and hold your baseline pitch there. Now, obviously, if you're speaking, that's very monotone. It sounds like a robot. Nobody speaks like that. So the next layer that we're going to start talking about is adding inflection to your voice. And the way you add inflection to your voice is different socially, you know, in our society, men tend to have less of a range in their voices, and women tend to have more of a range. So women tend to emphasize with pitch a little bit more too. So if you want to emphasize a word, you want to go up a little higher than you would in a male voice in order to give it that, that more feminine sound. Luckily your voice already has a lot of that cadence in it, so you're already halfway there. But we just want to think about starting to add just a little bit. So for this first one it's going to be very almost monotone, but we're just going to speak it in a very calm way. So, let's do the first Harvard sentence, which is, uh, the birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. And I'll do it first. I'm going to chant it, and then I'm going to speak it. So we're going to go, Ha, the birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Ha, the birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Now you'll hear the first time was just chanted, but the next time was spoken in a very deliberate way, but was still kind of the way that people's speech would go. It went up a little bit on some words, went down on a little bit on some words, but the baseline pitch stayed the same. So, if you'd like to uh, benefit from a consultation, I'm available to do consultations one-on-one, -on -one, and I can do those by phone, by video conferencing, whatever's easiest for you. And uh, as I said earlier, we also have a bunch of free resources for people for voice 
at genderlife.com slash voice tutor. You can find a keyboard, a bunch of uh, Harvard sentences that let you practice, and uh, links to a spectrogram, a f download of our free voice workbooks that you can practice on your voice. And as well, there's links to uh, Finding Your Female Voice, which is now available online, or you can purchase it as a DVD. All of those things are available to help you if you want to on your voice. I hope this has been helpful and inspirational and that seeing somebody who's working on theirs has been useful. And if you have any questions, send us a note, put a comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, I say, uh, let's get back to it. Let's uh, get a little more practice in, but we'll, uh, we'll let these guys go for now. So bye.